wonderful, wonderful day it is. Amen. To be in His presence, to have that sweet sense of peace in the room. God, that's so awesome. Such a sweet anointing. Praise God. Thank you. <coughs> well, I want us to pray this morning before I get into this message. So let's go to the Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you, Father God, and ask, Father, Lord, that you help me today, Father God, Lord, that I step aside and let you take the forefront, Lord. Father God, that there not be no hindering spirits as I speak forth your word, Lord. Let it come, Father God, Lord, that it bring understanding to all those that hear, Father. Oh, glorious Jesus, let your word go forth, Father, and accomplish what it needs to accomplish, Father. We love you and we praise you for all you teach us and all that you show us, Lord. Be with me now, Lord, and help me to overcome, Father God, anything the enemy will try to stop me from saying or your words, Lord. We love you and we praise you and we honor you and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the Lord. He's so good. Well, this morning we're going to, I'm going to start a, a series of messages. I don't know how many or how long or how in depth this is going to be, but it's something that I'm going to say we're going to, we're going to take a spiritual journey. Amen. And I've entitled these message, Expressing Love God's Way. Amen. And so we're going to be speaking about the love, God's love. And we're going to, I'm going to use a text out of 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And so, to, so today we're going to start a spiritual journey mm -hmm. to fully understand the love of God. Yeah. And we'll, we're going to call this a God kind of love mm -hmm. so that we can begin to comprehend this kind of love. Mm -hmm. I hope to bring to your understanding the width, the depth, the height, and the fullness of God's love. Now this discussion on love is going to challenge many of us as we start to bring to light a deep understanding of a God kind of love. This discussion on this subject will help you and me to further understand our faith as well as what love plays a role in how we understand our faith to be. The Bible says that God is love. We've heard that. And, and so let's turn to a scripture and let's read that. Turn with me to 1 John. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. He is so good. And I hope, it is my hope in teaching you all this as, as we learn together, because it's a learning process for me as well, that you get an understanding of this God kind of love. And I'm going to share a lot of different things with you all about love. But let's look at this. First John 4, verse 8. Look at what it says here. It says, He who does not love does not know God. For God is love. Now think about that. For he that does not love doesn't know God. Because God is love. And I know that we have love for one another. We have love between husband and spouse, between children, between parents. And we all understand that. <coughs> so let's begin with this. If God is love, then we need to know what this God is kind of love 
is. But before we learn about this, let's understand something interesting about the love of God. The Bible says that love that is greater than any, it is greater than either hope or faith. You understand that? The Bible says that love is greater than our hope and our faith. So let's read our text. But ask yourself this. Why is God love is greater than hope and love? Why is that? We're going to look at some scripture. Turn with me to our scripture, to our text. 1 Corinthians 13. We all understand 1 Corinthians 13 it is the love chapter. But we're, we're going to go through this chapter here, and we're going to thoroughly dissect it, and I'm going to bring out some things in it that you might have overlooked. And I'm sure that we've heard this in weddings and, and different things that people have spoken about love. But I want us to get a full understanding of a God kind of love. Look at verse 13 of chapter 13. It says, And now abides faith, hope, and love. And then it says, These three. But then it says, But the greatest of these is what? Is love. So see, love is greater than our hope, greater than our faith. Now, I know that we've read this, you know, many times, and we've never really looked at it this way. So look at it. it love is greater than our faith and our hope. Isn't that something? Now, please understand, first of all, that <coughs> faith won't work without love. In other words, faith is dependent on love in order for it to work. And you know, we say, well, we got to have great faith. Well, you know what? you got to have great love Amen. in order for your faith to work. Right. Or your faith ain't going to work if you don't know how to love. Mm. Think about that. Hopefully that's, that's opening your eyes to kind of understand. Love is important. Yes. Love is Love is God. It's greater than our faith and our hope. So without love, you, you, you won't have no faith. Because faith is dependent upon love. Now, turn with me to Galatians 5. We're going to look at verse 6. Now, I'm going to give you all quite a bit of information. This sermon ain't going to be too, too long because I want you all to kind of soak in what's going to be uh, shown to you today and today as we go through these scriptures. And so, you know, I'm not going to try and be long-winded with it. We're going to look at a lot, a lot of different scriptures, but start understanding, try to comprehend what I want to teach you about a God kind of love. <coughs> Galatians, where did I say 5, 6? Six. It says, For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision availeth anything but love but faith working through love see without love your faith can't work so you see that love is greater than faith for without love faith won't work we just read that look at it again but faith working 
through love. Or love works faith. Y'all see this? Yes. So if he ain't got love, he ain't got no faith. It, it, it doesn't work that way. So now it puts a greater emphasis on now the two commandments that Jesus gave us when he left. Love your God with all your heart, all your might, and all your soul. And then love your brother as well. And that fulfills all the, all the prophets and all the law. Because without that love, your faith can't work. And so faith won't work either without hope. You ever thought about that? Faith has to work because of love. Now, faith won't work without hope either. Isn't that something? Now, we've always known that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. But we've never considered what love had to do with it. What hope has to do with it. With our faith. Now, turn with me to Hebrews 1. Hebrews 11, 1, I'm sorry. And that's the definition of, of faith, right? Everybody remember that? Yes. Hebrews 11, 1. Let's look at this and, and dissect it a little bit and look at what it says here now. Everybody have it because it's, it's important that we lay our eyes on these scriptures and then just kind of read it. As I'm reading it, be reading it to yourself. God will put that word in you. Hebrews 11 verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. <coughs> Okay? Now, it, it says, Faith gives substance to our hope. We have to have hope for something before our faith can give substance to it. Do you understand that? I'll say that again. We have to have hope for, for something before faith can give substance to it. Without hope, we don't have the substance to give it to faith. Are, are y'all getting this? Uh, hopefully, I, I, I don't want to confuse. That's why I don't want to go too fast into this. If you don't hope for anything... Your faith can't work. Because hope gives substance to your faith. Do you get it? Yes. Amen. And now, faith can't work without love. Now, we've looked at scriptures already. Hopefully, you're writing them down. You can look at it again later on this afternoon or whenever you have a chance. And just start... Soaking that in. Because when I first started reading this, and, and, and I want to be clear about this, this is coming from...